Yo, what's the vibes? Welcome back to the Marley Show. Long time no see, man, but it's time to get back to the grind. As you can see, new city, new scenery, new job, new everything. We're going to get into that later. I'm going to start off this video with like a seven-day cleanse that I'm going to start. I'm going to tag y'all on the journey, man. Let's get it. Yo, what up? It's good to be talking to my subscribers again, man. It feels good. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And before I get into like the videos of the drinks I'm drinking or the books and stuff like that, I just figure I explain what's going on. I did like a quick five questions explaining. So I go over the questions, just show y'all what's really going on. The first one is, why am I fasting? Why am I fasting? Because I feel like I got that sign. A few weeks back, I got caught up in the situation. And I think that was God's way of telling me like, it's time for you to come back home. So I ain't want to deny it. And the way I've been getting blessed these past couple years it was only right that I got back to my roots before he started taking what he was giving. Um, number two, what does the fast consist of? Um, it's a seven-day fast. The first day, I'm doing no food. The second day is a juice cleanse. The third day is a juice cleanse. The fourth day is no food. The fifth day is a juice cleanse. The sixth day is a juice cleanse. And the seventh day is no food. And while I'm doing the fast, I'm not going to be, of course, not eating no food, not having sex, no relationships, no music no social media, pray every day, all day, and read three books in them seven days, and I do two miles running or walking on a treadmill, and right now, as I'm recording this, this is my fourth day, I've been doing pretty well, the first day, I kind of slipped up, I was on Twitter, looking at profiles, I feel like I shouldn't have been looking at, so other than that, I've been doing very, very, very well, um, number three, why did I return to YouTube, I feel like it was a, it was a sign for me to help anybody else out there that kind of like want to do it, but don't know how to do it or want to do it and just scared to do it. So I feel like I had the platform to get on here and show everybody that it's doable. You don't got to be scared to do it. I'm not saying it's easy, but having somebody out there that's doing the same thing as you, I don't know, just kind of give you like an ego booster, a little bit of motivation. So I hope I motivate somebody out there as well to do as I'm doing. Have I fasted before? I actually have. I fasted back my senior year in college. It was a way more intense fast than this one. But that's the reason why I'm doing it now, because the outcome I had in college was so tremendous. I, I knew, like, if I want to get back to them roots, if I wanted to get back happy with myself, I would have to go back and fast and do it again, because I knew what joy that brought me back in my senior year in college. Um, why did I stop the past fast? For me, I just got caught up again. I opened up that door, and I didn't close it. I let all that negative stuff that I put out before walk back in, and it took away all the positive stuff. Like, you know, started lying again, started cheating again, started having sex again, started doing the bad foods again, and, like, started putting bad music in my mind. I wouldn't read no more. So, for me, this is my way of, like, getting back to everything. And with that being said, I got a couple of videos showing y'all, like, what juices I do, what books I'm reading, and stuff like that. I hope y'all enjoy. Make sure y'all comment down below if y'all fasted before, if y'all did a juice cleanse before, if y'all want to do it now, if y'all thinking about it, if y'all want to do it together. Just make sure y'all leave it down below. And then, of course, another part of the fast is I wanted to read three books. And uh, the three books that I picked up was The Master of Love. That's the, it's you know, it's like a series, one of them series. So The Master of Love. I haven't started this one yet. I just literally went downstairs and got it from my mail. I don't know if I'm going to post this video on Saturday, but if it's Sunday, I got the book yesterday. Um, the Four Agreements. I started this one, I probably got probably no less than 20 pages. This one is a good book. I tag all my books up. All my books begin tatted up. Um, and then the last one is Can't Hurt Me by David Goggins. This was a, uh, he a good dude for me. He ain't like my motiv motivational speaker that I listen to a lot. But I read one of his books one time when he stayed with like a New York guy. And I, I don't know, I just fell in love with his book and how he explained his story. So I figured I'd pick up another one. So these are my three the Goggins, this one is all, it's like probably halfway done. And the way I usually do it, like on the cleansing day, the day that I drink my juices, it's like you, you take a two and a half hour like break, like it's three hours in between this drink. So like I'll wait three hours. And as I'm drinking my drink, I set a 50 minute alarm and I read for 50 minutes straight. And then I go back, chill for a little bit. And then every drink. So I read six times a day for 50 minutes. So the reading go pretty quick, but I highlight and I write a lot of stuff on no, um, notepads. So it'll take up a lot of that time too. But as far as the three, these are my three. I'm not finished with none of them to tell y'all to go get any, but I am halfway done with this one. This is a good book. I think everybody should read this one. 
And I'm not a big book guy either. Like, I don't read books a lot. So it's impressive that I even doing three. So we're going to make sure we knock that out. I'll let y'all know, like, in a later video after the cleanse, how I'm doing with the books. And if I finish the books and how I rate them and stuff like that. So for the seven-day cleanse, I'm going to be doing the drinks. I'm only doing the drinks for four days. So that's two days in a row and then fasting the another two days. But the first, this is day five from day four for me so i already drunk two already so i did that at a uh, clean juice some of the juice that they had me drinking was uh sweet green apple cucumber spinach mint and lemon that one wasn't bad um then i had the orange which was carrots orange pineapple lemon and turmeric that was all right too um the red this probably was my worst drink apple pineapple beet carrot and lemon anything with beet in it was trash um the fourth one this one went bad no 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 that's not the fourth the fourth one was a uh, pink that was lemon agave red dragon fruit that tasted like pink lemonade that was money but then the dude at the store he said he didn't have like a fourth or whatever he didn't have a green juice that he needed but he said he gonna throw me an extra red and you know that was my worst one so i had to do beet juice two times a day terrible i like, really wanted to throw up and then my last one was uh the cashew milk maple syrup vanilla cinnamon and uh pink salt that was money too that was a good one to go to sleep on and then so i did that for two days and then tomorrow i'll start my new one i went to um the juicery house and uh his his package clean juice like overall it wasn't that bad to do he was cool um i wanted to do like a mom and pop shop the first one i went to it was closed so i couldn't do that one and then i called around again now the first one i went to they said it was open i went it was closed i tried to call they weren't answering i waited like 15 minutes they still didn't answer so i'm like forget it so then i went to clean juice just because i know it's like popular um so i went to him he had some juices for me um and then i went this time to a new mom and pop shop the same thing happened like i went they was closed so i called and they was like um i got there at 11 i walked it's like a, a mile walk i called it was like 11 they was like we had an event uh we'll be back by one so I'm like, all right, I'll chill out. I'll stay here till 11, read some books or something. So then I waited two hours till one. I caught him at one. And it was one of them, you know, them people to be like, oh, who did you speak to? We didn't know. And they was like, we sorry. I'm like, nah, that ain't good enough. I'm like, sorry, not good enough. And they was like, there's nothing we can do. I'm like, forget y'all. I'm going to just go somewhere else. So then I went to another mom and pop shop called The Juicery. Um, he was a pretty cool dude. I called him on the phone. He was like, he didn't have no drinks ready. I think like the cashew milk. But he was like, I, I juice one for you um, if you can make it here before three. So I got there. The only thing different with his is it doesn't come with what's in the drink. So I don't really know what's in it. I'm sure it's probably like all the other ones, but his doesn't say it. I'm sure if I text me, it'll probably say me. But uh, the first one is Sunnyside, orange one. The second one is Limelight. The third one is Freshly Green. The fourth one is the beat y'all know i hate i hate beat this is the worst i hate beat um the fifth one is the limelight he asked me like to pick another one like to go with it so like some of the shops i see they have legit like six drinks it's all different and then some don't i don't know the difference in it i'm just getting started but that's what it is and then the sixth one it don't got no name on it but it's one of those like cashew milks i guess they say this is like one of them was like a lot of calories so they say you can take it whenever, but at night it's pretty cool because you go to sleep hungry, so you, you drink something so you don't wake up as hungry. But as far as, like, the juices and the cleanses, that's all I'm doing. Um, like I said, this is my last going around at it. Do I recommend it to anybody? I do. It's not bad. Do I feel like it's cleansing? I thought it was going to be, like, a little bit more cleanse, but it ain't doing as much as I thought it was. But it's pretty fun, keeping me motivated. Like, this is deeper than just drinking some juice for me. So that's the way I, reason why I stay committed. Hopefully that summed up everything pretty much. I hope you guys like understood where I was coming from, where I'm going, what I'm looking forward to. But as far as like the content, we're going to pick it up a lot. More basketball, more weight room, more traveling. I'm going to try to get the homies to come out more, hopefully, so we can get more content with the homies because pretty funny. And then just moving forward, I'm back on the grind. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Send this to everybody because we're going to pick it back up. Let's get it.